I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on geometry. We will discuss equilateral triangle and its relation with the radius of inscribed circle. So here we are given a circle with radius r inscribed in equilateral triangle ABC. Let the length of each side of this triangle be A units. So let's say each side is A units long, right? So that is the length of each side. Now let's find the relation between R and A. So we need to first find a relation between R and A, right? So that's the uh, problem. So let's see how to do it. So I'll actually discuss with you two methods, right? So we'll have method one. In method one, I'm going to use uh, Pythagorean theorem. In method one, we are going to use Pythagorean theorem, right? So what we'll do here is we'll find the altitude first. So if I drop a perpendicular from A to B, C, that's the perpendicular, in that case, what happens? This is an equilateral triangle. It divides the base into two equal parts. So if that is A, in that case, each is A by 2, right? Now, R is also this length, A, let's say, call this as O, then OD is also R, right? So, OD is equal to R, right? So, this is also R, okay? Now, in the bigger triangle, AD can be found using the formula AD square as equal to AB square minus BD square. That is Pythagorean theorem, right? So sum of these two squares is the hypotenuse square. If you have to find length of a shorter leg, then it is difference, right? So from here, we get that AD is equal to square root of AB square. AB square is A minus b to d square which is a by 2 so if you square them we get a square over 4 correct now that gives you 4 is the denominator common denominator 4 a square minus a square and so we get square root of uh, we can take this 4 outside we can write this as half and here we get 3, 4 minus 1 is 3, 3a square, correct? And that gives you AD as equal to A square square root is A, so we get square root 3 over 2A, correct? So we get the height. So normally we say AD is the height of your triangle, perfect? So we get height of the triangle as square root 3 over 2A. But what we really need to find is radius r, right? So we're going to use another property of a triangle to find the radius. So I'll write it here. And that is, O is also the centroid, right? So O is a centroid. Centroid means that if I connect the medians, right? If I connect the medians, in that case, all the medians will intersect at a point. And that point is the centroid. Is it clear to you? In equilateral triangle, orthocenter and circumcenter are also the same points. Now, the important thing here is that the centroid divides AD in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Right. So, it divides into the ratio of 2 is to 1. Right. So, this OD is basically one-third of AD. Now, that is important to understand from the property of centroid. Right. AD is substitute this value. OD is what we are looking for as the radius of inscribed circle. One-third of AD means square root 3 
over 2 times A. Now, that means R is equal to, you could write as such also, or we'll just simplify this and write this as 1 over 2 square root 3 times A, right? So, that becomes the radius. Is that clear to you? So, you could use this particular formula as the relation between R and A. So that is our method number one. Now let's use the second method to find the relation between R and A. Now this time in second method, we'll use trigonometry. Let me do a work. When we connect this, let's look into the triangle BOD, right? So we'll use trigonometry. We'll say triangle BOD. So if this is right angle, and what is that angle? Now this angle is half of 60 degrees, so this is 30 degrees. Correct? So you can write tan of 30 degrees as equal to R over A by 2. Clear? Now what is tan of 30 degrees? Well, special triangles, if you remember, let me just sketch one here. So, this is my 30, 60, 90 triangle. The sides are 1, 2, square root 3. And you know clearly, tan of 30 is 1 over square root 3. So, this is 1 over square root 3 is equals to R over A by 2. Correct? Half of A. Cross multiply. So, you get A by 2 times 1 over square root 3 as equal to r and we get the same formula r is equals to 1 over 2 square <coughs> <coughs> so we get the same so we get the same formula r equals to 1 over 2 square root 3 times a is that clear to you so we got this method using trigonometry we got this formula So if you remember this formula, you can solve many questions which relate the inscribed circle's radius with perimeter or area of the given triangle, right? So I hope that helps. Now, uh, as a practice question, question for you is, let me write down a question for you. Question. If R equals to 12 centimeters, find perimeter of triangle ABC in this particular case, right? Where triangle is equilateral triangle. So clearly, perimeter is 3 times A. There are three sides, all equal. You can use this formula and figure it out. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time. And all the best.